So the first thing we'll do is just go into the build settings and you know switch the platform and stuff. So up at the top left of Unity is the file option. You're going to click on that drop down and click on build settings. Once you're here, uh, we're going to first just switch over to Android. You'll click on the fourth option there in the left. Uh, this is going to be a development build, so we're going to check that off. And we're just going to go over to texture compression and change that over to ASTC. Now, if you're using uh, if you're using the terrain editor in your uh, in Unity, you know it's the big whole landscapes with the trees and such. Uh, you actually want to use GLES. Um, I'm just going to use the basic cubes and spheres and stuff in the scene, so not going to have to worry about that. So, in terms of optimization and to be able to actually do this, I'm just going to stick with ASTC. And once you once you've selected that, you're just going to go over to switch platform. That's going to prepare for Android development. Uh, so if you look at the documentation we've prepared for uh, for this process, this is going to be step two next, which is going into player settings and going down to where you see XR settings. This may be under other settings as well, depending on your version. Uh, either case, what you're looking for is the virtual reality supported option. You're going to make sure that's checked off. And if the list is empty, you want to add in Oculus support. So you're going to click on the little plus sign here. And you're going to look for Oculus. Perfect. It's right there. Step three, what you want to do is go into the other settings option. You want to change what's called the bundle identifier, just so that we have a unique ID for your application. So under other settings, you're going to look for this thing called package name, which will be under the identification little uh, section here. So company name, uh, it doesn't like you using the default one. So I'm just going to go CS for circuit stream. And for product name, I'm just going to change that to, let's go with tutorial. Uh, now it's good practice. You just want to make sure that's actually matching in the top of this. So scroll up to the top where it says default company. You're just going to change that to match the ones that you've chosen. And ooh, it's already tutorial here. So I'm just going to backspace there and just make sure that's tutorial. It's spelt the same way as the one I made here, lowercase t in this case. Now one more thing we want to do under the configuration here is, uh, or right above, inf cons uh, right above configuration, you're looking for the minimum API level. So let me make this a little bit bigger for you guys to see. Now Gear VR is not supported by Android 4.1 uh, Jelly Bean. So you're just going to click on that drop down and you want to select at least uh, 5.0 Lollipop. Now we're going to just add a little option here to allow us to sort of test in Unity. I'm going to close this build settings here. Go up to edit here and scroll down to project settings and look for editor as the drop down. Second one from the bottom there. And where it says Unity Remote Device, we're going to actually just change that over to any Android device. Um, one more step we're going to do is we're actually going to get the Oculus integration files into Unity. So we go to Asset Store here, and we're going to just, let me make this a bit bigger for you guys to see. And in the search bar, you're going to type in Oculus integration. There's a the search bar, O C U L. Yes, Oculus integration. So it's appeared as an option. Click on Oculus integration, and bam, there we go. Shows the Oculus controllers. A Gear VR is actually made by the same company, so the package comes in and works for both both devices. Scrolling down, looking for the download button. Right now, it shows as import because I've already downloaded this package. So once you finish downloading, you're going to click on import. It's preparing the package. Now, after clicking the import button, you know this prompt's going to come up. Take a little bit of time loading. Once it's here, you're just going to click on the bottom right where it says import. Now, after the loading section is done for the import option here, another prompt comes up saying an API update is required. Just go right, go right ahead and say I made a backup. Go ahead. Now, based on your version of Unity, um, sometimes you will come across an error where you know your stops importing right when it says uh, I think shader is the most common when it's importing the shader. Bam, it just stops going forward. So what you might end up having to do is control alt delete end the process and just open Unity up again. It might happen once again, end the process and launch Uni Unity a third time. Now, once it does successfully load up, go back to Oculus integration in the asset store and import the missing assets. You're gonna finish the import. It's gonna give you that prompt. I made a backup, go ahead Click on that once again. Now, after this process, you should have everything you need in your assets folder. If you can look down here, once what it was, once it was empty, and now it has all the things you need to develop for Gear VR. And if you want to port it over to Oculus Rift as well, the option is there.
So one more thing we want to do for our device is get its Oculus signature. So we'll go into the Play Store and download this application called OSIG ID. Just tapping in OSIG space ID. We're going to look for this particular application. And since I've already installed it, I'm just going to open it. Now, once you open it, you'll see a nice long text with your device ID on it. You're going to go to the Oculus website and use this to create an OSIG signature file. This is an important number, and now you know where it is. The next step would be to download the Android SDK and the Java Development Kit. We're going to go up to the top where it says Edit in the top left. We're looking for Edit, and we're going to go to Preferences, and we're going to look for External Tools. So the second option there, and you're going to go down to, oh, by the way, you can change your uh, external script editor here. You can pick Mono Developer or Visual Studio. So nice little bonus information. Now, scrolling down, you're going to find the Android option here. And you can, now, if you already have it downloaded, great. You can just browse for it. But if you don't, you can click on Download, and it will take you to the link that you want to go to. And it's to get the Android system here. So you can go over and download Android Studio. Say, you have uh, read and agree with the above terms if you choose to. Otherwise, you will not be able to develop for Android. Once that download is completed, you're just going to double click on the installer here and just launch that application. It's going to set up verifying installer, and you can go through the whole process to, Android, to actually install Android. So I already have mine installed, so you guys can go through the steps here to just install Android Studio. And once you have, Go back into Unity and just browse to where you have installed it. Looking for the Android SDK Windows folder. Next, going to install the Java Development Kit. Now, with the current version of Unity, there's you know some errors because they don't really work together too well sometimes. Uh, this is the same problem with Unreal as well. What you're going to do is just follow the link we provide down in the doobly-doo. And you're going to go over to what we what you want to use right now is the Java Development Kit version 8, not 9. So in our blog, we link you over to the one you want to use. Once you're there, you're just going to pick the appropriate download for your folder. Uh, at the top, you just want to accept the license agreement, and then you're looking over for your version of Java. So I have a 64-bit Windows device. So I'm just going to click on the bottom one here. If you don't know what your OS is, just open up one of your file explorers and right-click on your PC and scroll down to Properties. And it's going to tell you right here on, next to System Type what, uh, what OS you're using. So 64-bit OS, obviously I'm using Windows. And the Windows X64 is what I want to use. Uh, oddly enough, uh, 86 is 32-bit. Uh, and then you're going to browse for wherever your Java folder is in Unity. So now, just save your project, save your file. We're going to get into uh, we're going to get right into just get into development here.